Hi, and uh, welcome back to our channel. Um, we are a family of six from Anglesey in North Wales, and um, obviously I'm not normally the one doing the presenting, uh, but I've got a couple of bits to do here, just to go through. Uh, cause, um, I, these are the presents I've got the children. Uh, got um, two of our children, and then I've got the presents that I've um, got my wife to go through. So what we've got here. Sorry, that was just bugging me. <laughs> what we've got here are two Wii U's and two teeny tiny little PCs. And um, what? These are for, we've got the ones for my oldest son Jack, that's my youngest son Kai. So obviously we've got uh, a couple of uh, Wii U's for playing games on. Uh, both of these systems have been unlocked and um, so I don't have to keep putting the CDs in. So um, I've backed up all the Wii U games that I've got online cheap. Not there's that many, it's basically Mario and Splatoon um, games that they're into. So both of those can do that. They've both got exactly the same games on, so there's no arguments. The games live on these hard drives, both one terabyte. And that allows you to play your um, backed up games without needing the CD. So that's what they're for. Still waiting on the power supply. I ordered it on eBay over a week ago and it's going to turn up on Boxing Day. All right. And then the PCs, so I'm doing this fairly quickly so I can get on to the other bits. The PCs are for playing the media that's on our server in the children's rooms. Uh, they've got Chromecasts at the moment. Um, but it's not really working because the children are wanting a lot of the stuff that I've got um, downloaded from CDs and things that I've ripped and it's very difficult to get that to play through Chromecast without tying up both mine and Katie's phones so we've got the leaves. These are both uh, yeah I say these are both i3s uh, this is seventh gen I think that's sixth gen doesn't make much difference um, so I've given me youngest son a slightly higher spec one because they weren't exactly the same and my son's more likely to play games and things on it um, when he's a bit older uh, than Jack. Jack Jack's won't ever, I don't think, actually change because he's on the, um, well, I'm pretty sure he's on the autistic spectrum. Uh, he's very, he doesn't like change. So, um, sitting in the barn is a spare white white one because it's a slightly cheaper one just in case he breaks a bit I can swap it. Uh, and then the keyboards that I can keep locked up so the children well, the children in the near future won't be able to access any of this if they want to go on the game they'll have to ask me and I'll get it down and then we've also got these have to ask me to get down and these are so they can it's quite cute. They've recently started, well, summer holidays, I think? A bit later, they've got into playing Mario. Um, because this black one, the black one was in our playroom. Uh, the trouble is, is that Jack keeps wanting to get at it and destroy it. He's destroyed it, um, so there's no way I can have... He destroyed the stereo that was in there, so there's no way I can have um, AV amp. So there's no way I can switch input, so it's just got a computer in there, and that's the only thing we can watch telly on now. I mean, I've lost count of how many digi boxes and things he's got. Um, so in the short term, these are going in the bedrooms. Longer term, I see one of these going in our snug, and one of these going in the back in the playroom. I don't really want the, the Wii U staying up in their rooms long term. Computers, though, will be. Uh, so, not bad for 40 quid each. Uh, so, not much to say about them. They get a 
have V. They've they've both got Linux on. They're both going to run VLC player, uh, and they've both got um, a Steam account logged in. Mine, but in the child mode thing, so they can't. They can only access what I allow. But then, like I said again, they don't have access to the keyboard, so that's not really an issue. They'll be locked away with the other. Everything else we lock away. Um, let's say in with our children's tellies and things, it's all connected to Google Home, so I can turn the telly on and off. And the computer's on and off remotely. Uh, with these, I've also set them to not, they won't, they'll shut themselves down at um, five o'clock and just won't work after five, uh, which is the same time the tellies go off. So it all powers down, there is no way the children, even without the remotes, can turn them on. It's what we have to do with our children, because otherwise Jack could be up all night watching telly, given half a chance. Uh, it's the problem we have downstairs, he keeps going downstairs trying to use the telly. So that's very quickly what I've got, uh, the, the presents that I was responsible for for our children, because I'm the more tech savvy. I mean, I got Ellie the balls and Lily some bits and pieces, but Katie will go through that in the, when, uh, Katie went through that in that video. Um, sorry if I'm rushing a bit, it's, um, it's nearly 11 o'clock on Christmas Eve's Eve, and I wanted all this a long time ago. Uh, so what I'm going to do now off camera is just give these a clean. We've got boxes to put them in and then I'll wrap them up and then I will then show you, um, go through what I've got um, Katie for Christmas. So I will get back to you in a bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure you didn't want to see me cleaning and um, putting things in a box. Um, um, thinking about it, I also wasn't probably very clear as to why Kai's is slightly higher spec than Jack's. Um, well, it's um, also because um, Kai shares his bedroom with Lily, and um, obviously when Lily's older she'll be using the computer, and I would imagine those computers will be going for at least 10 years. I mean, they're already six, seven years old? They're already pretty old computers, but um, I don't change computers very often unless they stop doing what I need them to do. Um, I can't really imagine that those will stop being able to play the media I want to play for a while, especially for the children. Right. Now, I'm deliberately putting this upside down. To hide the address. So I hope, uh, <laughs> well I definitely hope you're all ready for Christmas when you see this, because I'm planning on this video going live um, after Christmas. Just because it would be very difficult for me to upload a video of what I've got my wife for Christmas. Um, because Katie manages the channel, so she'd see um, she'd see the video. That's just going to be... <laughs> right, well, this is a good <laughs> That will be a good excuse to um, show off my wrapping skills. I'm, um, I'm, I like to think of myself as quite a good wrapper. In present terms. <laughs> Um, was also thinking um, that I'm guessing you probably don't know a lot about the. Um... Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Well, 
that's real life. <laughs> show you mistakes, that's how you learn, but um, as I say, I'm not entirely sure how much you guys know about the home automation stuff we've got um, in this house. Again? Mm. Alright, this is not going well at all, I think. We didn't see that. <laughs> now, is that all tight there? Can you just, <laughs> can you let me know? Because, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. Oh. That wasn't tight there, there we go. <laughs> this is what happens when you try and wrap presents when you are tired. So we're saying, I don't know if you, if anyone out there is interested to learn about the networking and IT side of that, of our house. I know, obviously, that kind of thing isn't really something that we do. But, but uh, you know, I'm always. Um, I'm always up for trying. Always up for that. We're always up for trying new things. So. Probably uh, not all of this is gonna be interesting for people to watch. Is I'll probably fast forward through bits where I'm not talking. Um it's, uh, I hope you guys have um, had a good summer. I'm not really sure why I'm calling you guys because I'm pretty sure most of our audience is female. But uh, I'm not very good at uh, <laughs> I'm not as good as presenting as Kate, I'm afraid. Um, I get a bit nervous, if I'm honest, on, when I'm in front of the camera. Hopefully it's something I'll get a bit better at next year. Fingers crossed. Don't worry, your normal presenter will be back <laughs> for the next video.
There we go. There's. Again for the second one, just hopefully without the mistakes. <laughs> Got any video suggestions? Um, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, don't worry, we we know about the the house tour one, and I still owe you a solar panel one from um, earlier this year. It's just um, with everything with, you know, with Lily Bean coming and everything. I've not really had a chance to um, do that. I've only just about managed to get my um, get back up to speed with my business um, the last few weeks. Just in time for Christmas. said in one of the previous videos or not. Um, kind of difficult to remember. Um, but uh, me and Katie um, have been together 10 years now. Um, this um, last couple of months. Just before um, well was just, it was either the weekend just before or the weekend just after uh, Halloween. I think it was the weekend of Halloween, without checking my diary. Uh, obviously that's not their wedding anniversary, that's the anniversary of us meeting. Um, interesting story but uh, one I think best left um, to another time I'm just uh, having fun because this is good um, this is the good paper with the little squares in it, which makes cutting nice straight lines a lot easier. As long as you can see the lines, obviously, because... Oops. 
dear. <laughs> Got some blue on this um, paper somehow. Not sure where that's come from. I don't think it's come off the table. And there we go, that's, oh, that's the way you go. <coughs> Be a bit careful with that one. Right, now Jack's two to go. So I'm going to change the paper. wrapping and that done a long time ago. That's what it's really like for me this year. Oh well this <laughs> this griffle wrapping paper doesn't have the um doesn't have the um little squares on it unfortunately. Because they're both Disney, so you think they would be the same? But no. You soon time to get next year's uh, wrapping paper. We always buy ours in January. In fact, we get a lot of our Christmas stuff in January. I can't think of in all our. I most of our Christmas decorations came. We got in January. Although to be fair, most of those we get off um, Facebook free cycle pages. Certainly our main tree we did in February. It's one of the um, good things of living where we live. Because there's an RAF base quite close. When those, um, when the um, not soldiers, is it? Um, airmen. I don't know if you're an airman if you don't fly, but whatever they, when they when they get reassigned, they do tend to um, get rid of most of their stuff. So you quite often. Um, I mean, um, I got I had all sorts of things from the, the base housing over the years. In fact I think all of our Christmas trees have come from there.
along with quite a few of um, a few of the children's um, ride-on toys. Um, you know, Kai's ride-on car that came. The red one that came from the RAF base. Um, so he's um, got a his scooter bike came from there, I think. He's got a couple of electric scooters in the barn for when he's bigger that came uh, that again came off the free cycle. I managed to get worse. It's um, quite funny how how much Jack and Kai have got into Christmas this year. Jack um, kept asking me this evening if it was Christmas Eve tomorrow. He's certainly uh, unfortunately far too excited. He's um, both of them, well, both Jack and Kai have been playing up something rotten. Uh, so that's the first time really where, I think this is the first, well, I suppose a bit last year, Jack got understood it was Christmas, but before that, he's not really, I mean, you might, so if you go back to some of our, our early, I think our early videos, when you see Jack kind of, you know, where we've had presents for Jack at Christmas, um, he's not really, um, and see, now I'm thinking of the, that would be the year before, because I, I can't, last year I was ill in bed, wasn't I, for Christmas, I don't remember last Christmas really much at all. And fingers crossed I'm not in bed this year. Oops, uh, we've also had a, a letter come through from the local health people. Very useful. Um, both, Jack, both Jack and Ellie have speech therapy, or supposed to. Obviously, that's a bit difficult um, in Ellie's case. I'm not really sure. I don't really expect them to be able to do much with Ellie, but Jack is getting, he's really coming on with his speech. Um, but we've not had a, a speech therapist now for 18 months, about. Um, they can't employ one in the area. It's not just our, sorry, they don't, it's not just our school, it's not even our county, it's the North Wales area. From what the letter said, there is no speech therapy services. Even the um, school hasn't got anyone now, because they've um, gone on to convent. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but um, if um, I had a member of my staff that had a unique skill that none of the other staff, none of my other staff had, say, speech therapy, I don't know, but I'd be quite tempted to say, um, no, you can't go on to convent because we need your skills. And surely that can't be an unreasonable thing for an employer to do if, you've, if your member of staff has a skill that's... Um, My first job when I left it, I had to um, train up my replacement before I was allowed to leave. And I hadn't even started the recruitment process until after I was supposed to finish, because I think they were hoping I wouldn't leave. If 
because I had <laughs> I had certain certain skills and knowledge that nobody else had. So, I'm not exactly sure how Jack and Ellie are supposed, well, I just won't be getting any speech therapy at all. Which, when you've got two children who are, well, Ellie's completely non-verbal and Jack's. We can just about understand him, but because the muscles in his throat, um, as best as We've been explained it, the muscles in his throat just don't listen to um listen to him. Uh, and his mouth, so he just can't make the the mouth movements necessary for talking clearly. Even I have trouble understanding what he's saying a lot of the time, unfortunately. Kai's quite good at understanding. I mean, the last thing the speech people did for him, he's got a, like, a little... He's got, like, a little tablet computer that um, has some software on it that he can use to um, talk. It's sort of like an electronic version of his text that he had. But that was... Well, two years ago now? And he's not had anybody come to... Um, See how he's getting on with it. I so said that we've had to call a couple of times to help with one or two little bits. I must admit, I've pretty much given up programming it because it's just that convoluted. Yeah. And that person was in Cardiff. But you'd think, you'd think, in a, in a population the size of North Wales, you'd have some. Editing this video, whether it's going to be Katie or myself, she's getting quite good at the editing, as I'm sure. I mean, it's not the easiest bit of software to get to know because we use a bit of software called DaVinci Revol Resolve. Sure, kind of a bit, you know, it's a good bit of software. I mean, it's used for some TV shows and films. It's basically the PC version of Adobe, well, the PC version of Adobe Premiere, well, it's not really a PC, you know, it's the, it's the main alternative to Adobe Premiere. And I don't fancy paying monthly, considering, it, considering DaVinci Resolve is free. But it's not the most straightforward software to use. But it does let us, it is powerful. I mean, um, you can probably see from our Christmas one, it'll let you do with the snow effects. That's quite. And then we also have AI processing happen every video on the audio. And the video. I know we sometimes, I know it might not look like it because I mean, hope 
hopefully we'll be able to improve um, that this year. But um, this channel is run on quite a tight budget, so we don't always um, have the funds for the fancy stuff. I mean, the cameras I'm talking to you on are both RX contract ones. Then the, and then I'm checking how it looks on my son's old, old tablet, which a uh, good old Kindle Fire hey, um, 7 inch thing from, looks like eight years old now. But, this is what it is. So, now we come on to the main event. What I've got Katie. What I've got Katie for Christmas. So we will start off with the first present I bought. I've had this since January. We've got a Slippers and smelly set um, that I got from Tesco. Katie's always losing slippers, so I thought that would be a winner. Smell when she likes smellies. Next, we've got some after eights. Because, well, you can't really go wrong with after eights. Katie's card. There. So, so, like I said, <laughs> you can't go wrong with slippers. <laughs> uh, I should say, Katie's got quite into uh, Lilo and Stitch. I think it's because Ellie loves Lilo and Stitch. So, those January, these I got um, August, I think. These are Primark. So we've got a, a stitch 19, which is, what's it say? <laughs> Home is where the heart is. So I hope. Could do with an iron, unfortunately, but that's what happens when it's been in storage for months. Next, we've got a big bar of chocolate. Doesn't really feel like a lot on my phone. Another, another after eight. I've obviously had the same idea twice. <laughs> and here we've got a Disney cup from Tesco. Uh, with, um, well, we've got uh, Simba. Uh, we've got uh, a stitch, a female stitch, a mini, and a letter K in gold. And then we've got a uh, placemat to go with it. Again, with a Simba and a female stitch. I'm sure that character's got a name, but I'm not sure what it is. A, uh, a mysterious box, which I'll go, oh, I'll show you in a minute. It's in a quality street, because Katie was quality street. So, and we've been, I've been trying to not go overboard, because I was been given specific instructions not to. Uh, I'll let you judge whether I did or not. We've got uh, some Thorson's Continental, which I hope dark chocolate. Now, this may or may not go down well, 
because it was Katie's dad's favourite chocolate. So I've partly got it that. So uh, I hope that doesn't upset Katie. But I thought it, um, she might like it because it make her think of her dad. So I'm going to get myself all emotional. Right. So here we have got Open this. Oh, Katie shouldn't mind. Here we've got the new addition to the channel and Katie's big present because what she said she wanted. Well, she didn't say she wanted this one, she said she wanted a cannon something or other. Uh, did tell me, but unfortunately the budget wouldn't stretch to that. What we want here is GoPro Hero 9 uh, Black Edition. I can't open it any further than that. So let's give you a rundown of the specs. It's waterproof to 10 meters, it does 5k video, 20 megapixel thing and it's this is just the basic set so it was absolutely brand spanking new from amazon so um you will probably well you might not be seeing it on camera but you'll certainly be seeing it oh and it comes with some bits but i'll So we've got the GoPro. Then here we've got an anchor. What are you? USB C lead. This is six foot nylon. Again, I'm not going to open it because it's a Christmas present. I'm not sure if the GoPro is USB C, but. Uh, We've got a 128 gig SD card to go with the GoPro, new camera, new memory card. And here we have got another Anchor product. This is the Anchor 232 power bank, which I'm going to be reading stuff off the back, I dare say. I believe this is quick charge. It will say on the back. This should be uh, quick charge three compatible or two compatible. Enough for Katie's phone anyway. And then we've got an anchor. Again, series three. Are these all series three? Yes, they're all series three. <laughs> And this is an Anchor 317 100-watt fast charge cable. Ah, uh, not fast charge. This is a 100-watt power supply. <laughs> I have got these because Katie <laughs> has the annoying habit of running off with, power, with USB power, power leads and power banks to charge her phone. Um, and I thought if I get her a power bank and a battery, then that should be able to keep her going in the day without having to run off with power leads. And then this here will be fine for running the uh, editing laptop, which is a. Let's get it right. It's a framework um, 13 laptop. Uh, it uses 65 watts, I think. Yeah, 65 watts is, it? and this is 100 watts. This is far. This will be plenty. Um, good laptop, but the same one. Well, it's, um, it's been doing the video editing for us, which I must admit I didn't know whether it would. I hoped it would because the, uh, the it's got the Ryzen chip in it. The new well, last gen, I think. Well, it's certainly a lot better than the Intel for editing. So, 
not these, so she'll stop running off with uh, like the chargers that I use for charging the children's um, DS's or Jack School tablet or my phone or the one off my Steam Deck. She quite likes running off with that. So I thought, well, if I get her her own, doesn't really look a lot, does it, on the table? Well, I was told not to go overboard. Overboard, I don't think I've got. So now all I'm going to do is wrap these up and um, do I want to know what the time is? It's uh, 11.40. I'll wrap all this up. Then it'll be time to do the dishwasher, washing machine and tumble dryer in our cheap electricity time and put the car on charge ready for going to see um, the in to going to see um, Katie's mum in the week. Um, bed. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't, although I'm not really sure what the point of that is anymore because I don't know how you look at that anymore. And uh, I hope we get to see you again in the next video. Uh, videos coming up. Uh, I don't know if this one will go up first or the Christmas day. I think I think I'll try and get it so this one comes up first. And then our Christmas Day vlog will come up um, later on in the week. Uh, just because this will be quicker to edit. And um, like I said, Katie's not going to um, get to see this footage to edit it until after Christmas Day. Unless I, um, unless I find some time tomorrow to edit it and put it upload. Um, she's going to sleep tomorrow night. Either way. And uh, we will see you again for the next one. Bye.